Hi guys, Maggie Make It Go here with another how-to video. Check out our other videos if you want to see something different. We upload every Friday. We have crafts, DIY, life hacks and general advice. Comment below if there's something you want us to include. Today we're going to be looking at changing the tap in your toilet. So the one that goes into the wall. As you can see, the tap that I was working with had no handle. Um, it actually leaked a little bit out of the handle as well, so I did need to change it. You'll need to take a crescent, or sometimes called an adjustable spanner, or here in Australia it is called a shifter, and undo the hose that goes to the cistern. So remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. So you'll be turning that nut anti-clockwise. Once you've done that, you'll be looking at moving the whole tap off the wall. Now there is a very important step here. I'll see if you can guess what it is um, that I did not show you doing. Um, but again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So you'll be wanting to use the spanner to go anti-clockwise. The other thing is make sure that you're not marking the wall. Um, you can put some tape down if you're worried about that or just try and be very careful. It did take quite a while to do this step and I got a lovely surprise at the end of it. I did just check, you can see that, that a little bit of water is coming out of the hose that goes to the cistern. Um, so make sure that you've got something on the ground or you're prepared to wipe that up afterwards. So make sure you do this step before you start work in the door. Go outside and work for the toady and turn your water mains off. It's very important unless you want to go for a swim, which is what I did. Uh, complete rookie mistake. The next thing you want to do is take some thread tape. It's uh, usually white or blue, like this here and put that around the thread. This helps hold the connection in place. The other thing you can use is a liquid sealant, um, like this one here. I didn't end up using this, but you, you can if you think that's required. So I'll be replacing this tap with a kinetic mini cistern cock 15 millimeter quarter turn chrome plated. I just picked this up from my local hardware store. Um, which is actually Bunnings. So I screwed that on there uh, in the clockwise direction just by hand to start with. Um, obviously you can clean up around it if you don't want that thread tape sticking out. I really wasn't too fussed and um, didn't bother with it. Once that's done you do want to take your spanner and tighten it up. Now again be careful of the spanner marking the chrome of the new tap fitting um, as well as the wall. Once that's done, you want to use the same thread tape or the liquid sealant on the bottom one, which is where you install the hose that goes to the cistern. And same thing, you want to do it in the clockwise direction. This is the old tap that I removed. As you can see, there's no handle on it. There wasn't really anything else wrong with it, um, apart from it did leak a little bit um, out where the handle was. And that's it. It's all working fine and well and is easy to turn the water on and off. Um, which is very important in this case because I actually have a leak somewhere else in my system. Um, so until I get that fixed, uh, this is a much better way to manage the water in my house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video and it's been somewhat helpful for you. If it uh, stops you from flooding your toilet, then that's a win for me. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you wanted to see more DIY videos. Let us know what you think and I will see you next time.